In this third part of the four-part series on how to extract data into Excel that display the account segment information for Microsoft Dynamics GP, we're going to use the product from E1 called SmartList Builder. Now this is a product that you do have to purchase, but it enables us to build SmartList objects similar to the SmartList designer that comes with GP, but only with a lot more detail and a lot more functionality. So I'm going to open up the SmartList Builder right now, and I'm going to create a new SmartList, and we'll call this one Account Seg. So this will be our account segment, and we'll call this one the G uh, GL Account Segments. And we're going to give the item name the same same name. It's part of the Microsoft Dynamics GP Dictionary, and the series that it will belong in is the Financial Series. And that's going to be important, the series, for the placement of it in SmartList. Now we want to assign a table. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus and select a table from my GP. And I've already got the first part filled out from uh, what I filled out up here. So now I'm just going to choose from the drop down list. I'm going to find that account segment master table. So I think it's called segment description master. And I see my two key fields there, the segment ID and the segment number. We're going to need to remember that in a bit. And I'll go ahead and click on save. And now these are all the potential fields that can display. And by default, I want to go ahead and get these first three, but I'll never need the note index, so I'm going to just unmark that one. And now we have our uh, uh, object already once I click Save. But before I do that, I want to add something to the Go To button so that this will open another window. So I'm going to click on Go To, and we'll go ahead and click on Add, and we're going to open up a form. And the description of this form will also be GL Account Segments. It's part of the Microsoft Dynamics GP Dictionary Financial. And what I wanted to do is open up that Segment Setup window. So I'm going to find it, Account Segment Setup. And I'll click on Add because now I'm going to tell it how to populate it. So what I'm going to do is get the Segment ID, which is one of those key fields, from the table Segment Description Master that I'm pulling up over here and I'm going to place the value with the segment ID that I'm displaying here. And I'll go ahead and click on Save, and I'm going to choose Save Again, and I'm going to set that default Go To button to that. So I could just double click, I'll Save, and I'll save the SmartList Builder. Now let's see the results of our work. So I'm going to go to SmartList, and the first time I go in after I build something, it's going to prompt me to look up and accept the changes. So I have it here. I'm going to open up that financial series, and now I see this new GL account segment. I'll open it up, click on the asterisk, and I can see the three fields that I included. If I go to Columns and Add, I can get that one more that I did not include as a default. If I had left the note index there, I would have seen that as well. And now here, if I double click on one of these, it opens up the account segment window and it populates it with whatever row I have listed. And again, I could also highlight and choose Go To and GL and Account Segments. Once I have that done, it's just a matter of clicking the Excel option to import to Excel. And that's all it takes. Let me pull that up here. Hope this helps.